dial it back to time travel to the Um, I don't, it wasn't as much us wanting to dial back the time travel. We just thought it would be interesting since the first season is all about them trying to change the future. We just thought it'd be interesting to set a lot of the season in the future that they created and have them live in it. Um, so yeah, it was more, that just was kind of like the story that we wanted to tell. Can you tease any new characters that we're going to be expecting to see in season two? There's a bunch of new characters. Uh, one of them is uh, Wolf goes to the future and, and finds himself sort of thrust into a family, a six-person uh, marriage with six people, three men, three women, and he has a, has a child. So he's tackling the fatherhood in season seven, which is very difficult. And, what, and their names are, should we tell the names? I guess sure. Uh, yeah, his, their names are Level, Rake, Thimble, Hatchet, Hatchet, Lave, and Lugnut. So yeah, the, the future they created, instead of having uh, animal names, they now have uh, tool names. So that's a thing. They're such a good little group, that trio. Yeah. What, what made you decide to like split them apart at the beginning of season two? Um, it's just, we just like to create conflict and have somewhere for the story to go. Um, it just kind of happened. Yeah, and I think story-wise it, was, it was sort of felt natural because we got to do a lot of world building and sort of explain what's going on on this side of the world, what's going on on this side of the world. I think doing that through the own char our character's journeys was the most linear, clear way to set that up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think they're, you know, separating them giving them sort of different opinions and attitudes towards the future. It didn't create a lot of conflict, but they get back together. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jeez. Do you have a, like a planned arc or like an amount of seasons in mind that you would like to show them for? Like, do you have a thing that you Nine. <laughs> I'll throw it up. Uh, um, we're, just, we're just happy we get any season. So it's true. We definitely, I mean, I, I think what happened the first, as we get like further and further into the season, we start tossing some ideas for like half season and where we might go, so we definitely have like a good idea of where the third season is going to go. But past that, we're not sure. We'll find that out in the third season. If we film the third season, then we'll have ideas for the fourth season, I would hope. Or we just end it after three. Is there a pop culture reference that you really want to insert, but so far you haven't been able to figure out how to get it worked in? We've really We're, jammed in this first season. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I really like that um, that old Van Damme movie, uh, Cyborg. Oh yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. But I don't think people know it well enough to put it in the show. So that's one that I wish we could. <laughs> but, but we'd have to get everybody to watch Cyborg to. Or just get Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, I would just love to have Jean Claude Van Damme on the show. Okay. Season three. Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> what were some of your favorite scenes? From the. From the, um in season two, like coming in season up. two. Uh, that you can share. <laughs> I don't know if I can share my favorite scene from season two without spoiling it, but it involves Tiger. Yeah. Doing some. Yes. Oh shit! She, she told us about it. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's a great scene. She that's a winner. <laughs> that's a winner. Uh, but I feel the same. Yeah. One of the things I loved in season one was how you know Josh left his iPhone in 1969, and then there were a few different times where we saw like tiny little ramifications of that. Yeah, yeah. And I know in, in the, the first episode of season two, there's one little yeah. minor reference to it. But will we see other ripples like that, where things they did in the past, like just even in a minor way, have impacted the future? Um, I feel like it was more. We tackled more like the big. Giant yeah. things that they. I think there's a little, a few things peppered in there, um, in terms of how uh, James Cameron. And oh that, right. How uh, Wolf derailed James Cameron's career in some way. Yeah. That's yeah. actually a pretty big one. Uh, but we, we dealt with the more, you know, personal ones to our characters that really, right. li them living with the consequences. Yeah. Was having Wolf end up learning how to cook and having that so obsessive for him? Was that something you thought of at the very beginning, or did that kind of like evolve throughout? That 
kind of did, I think. I think we, um, when we did the pilot and he ate the pickle, that was like kind of like his character opening up to like the world of potential that was in front of him. Um, we knew going into the season that we, that he was just going to get more and more lost in, in the present. And I think we always knew that he was going to get into cooking. Right? Yeah. 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 So that was just, I don't know, we thought it would be funny for him to get into food. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe we were watching. Bomb making. <laughs> we were uh, probably watching a lot of Food Network shows, and <laughs> that's how it happened. <laughs> So, yeah. at the end of episode three, there was a really tender, heartwarming moment. Um, was, was there kind of like a push to, to maybe have the show where it's hard to see a little bit more this season? Um, a show like the more you know, tender, love side characters? Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we tried to thread a pretty crazy tonal line on this show, because, I mean, some of the comedy is pretty out there, but I think... And I think there was a, a big feedback in the first season from him, and we answered. And he is all yes, over the is. second season in a big way. And yeah. he does some pretty crazy, surprising things that we love. Anyone else? Uh, he's really the only one that we, after the first season, we're like, oh, we need to put more of this guy on the show. Um, I think he's the only guy that comes back of the side characters. Because it's the future. Because it's the future, yeah. yeah. Well, there are a couple in the first episode. That's true. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you pay attention to the reaction <laughs> on social media? Um, a little bit. I think when the first when the show first came out, uh, I was like on Twitter uh, looking at the reactions, which was really delightful. Um, but then over time, like all the tweets about Future Man then became like, my future man better like the smell of shea butter because <laughs> I'm gonna use it all the time. And like just gradually it faded away from the show to That's when you're interested people, people talk about the future man. And I followed that for a while, but then I lost interest in people's subculture. It really is, yeah. Thank you guys for having